Let's make a movie. There is no cause for alarm. The low-flying airplane seen over the community today was not a threat. A pilot in training merely misread his navigational instructions and made a wrong turn. Realizing he was breaking the rules, he was trying to find his way back before his error was noticed. He apologizes for any alarm he may have raised. Needless to say, he will be released. Who wants to be the first tonight for feelings? I felt angry this afternoon. My child care group was at the play area and we had a visiting group of sevens, and they didn't obey the rules at all. I was so angry at one male, I made my hand into a fist, like this. Where were the visitors from? Some other community. I don't remember. How did you feel when your group of sixes visited another community last year? Strange. They were learning usages my group hadn't learned yet, so we felt stupid. Do you think that the boy today felt strange and stupid, being in a new place with rules he didn't know about? Yes. I felt a little sorry for him. Me too, and sorry I made a fist. Thank you. Well, I'm feeling a little worried. One of the new children isn't doing well. What gender is it? He's a sweet little male, but he's not growing as fast as he should and he doesn't sleep soundly. The other nurturers and I have him in the extra care section, but the committee's beginning to talk about releasing him. Oh no. I know how sad that must make you feel. I think he just needs something extra. I may ask the committee for permission to bring him here at night, if you don't mind. Of course. Maybe we could even keep him. Lily. I know. Two children to each family. Very clear. Thank you. Jonas? Jonas. What? We're sharing feelings. Anything you want to share? I feel... apprehensive. Why is that, son? It's almost December. The ceremony of twelve. I'm glad you told us your feelings. Lily. Go get on your night clothes. Father and I are going to talk to Jonas for a while. But... Lily. Privately? Yes. This talk will be a private one with Jonas. When I was 11 as you are, Jonas, there wasn't the suspense there's for your ceremony of 12. I was already fairly certain what assignment the Council of Elders were going to give me. How? It's a secret. Yes, how'd you know? I knew what my gift was. When my friends in my age group were holding bike races or building bridges with their construction sets, I spent all my volunteer hours at the nurturing center with new children. The elders knew that. They've been watching me a lot at school. They watch all the elevens and take notes. They don't make mistakes. So when my assignment was announced as nurturer, it wasn't a big surprise. It was what I most wanted. But I don't know what I most want. I don't know what my gift is. What if I'm disappointed with my assignment? They'll find exactly the right assignment for you. Don't worry. And after your ceremony you'll be training with your new assignment group. But Asher and I will always be friends, right? And we'll still be in school. Absolutely. There'll just be changes. Good changes, though. After my ceremony, when I entered my training for law and justice, I found myself with new friends who shared my interests. Did you still play after 12? I still do. Every day in the nurturing center. Peekaboo, hug the teddy. 
fun doesn't end when you become 12. This is certainly a very long private conversation. I'll come help you remove your hair ribbons, Lily Billy. Are all comfort objects imaginary creatures? I think so. Yours is an elephant, right? Right. Mine was a bear.